Welcome back. You're still tuned into Business Lunch. India has 6.3 crore registered micro, small, and medium enterprises, which together account for close to 30% of the country's GDP. This has now made the sector a priority for the Modi government, especially in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. But this sector still remains quite fragile. So in our series Election Exchange, we have Shivani Bazaz who reports that the sector is hoping for some kind of support from the government, specifically when it comes to getting easier access to funding. Take a look. Well, the micro, small and medium enterprises, which is the MSME sector, comprising approximately 6.30 crore enterprises in India, has become a force in the Indian economy, promoting entrepreneurship and providing self-employment opportunities. But despite the government's initiatives such as the Mudra Yojana, the Credit Guarantee Scheme and the PM Vishwakarma Scheme, there is still a substantial credit gap in the MSME sector, ranging from 20 to 25 trillion rupees. The Mudra Yojana, a flagship scheme from the government, was specifically directed at supporting the MSME sector. The numbers indicate it has made significant headway. Since 2019, loans to the tune of over 14 lakh crore have been dispersed to micro, small and medium enterprises. But players in the space say getting the loans are not always easy, especially because Mudra loans are supposed to be collateral free and banks are reluctant to lend without collateral. I have approached around four or five banks and when I have asked for any funds more than 25 lakhs, they have always uh, asked for collateral, so which is uh, as per government schemes which, which is not required. So there we face, as a woman entrepreneur, we face challenge on getting the funds without collateral. The situation, many say, is trickier for women business owners. It is so harassing that the government is saying that till two crores collateral free loans will be given but when we go to the bank the bank says ye kehne wali baat hai actually hota nahi hai this is what i have heard from the government banks also so when you say that okay uh, we i don't have collateral okay then you bring your uh, co-partner to it co-partner means your husband mudra loans are not the only measure the government has taken to support the msme sector especially in the wake of covid 19 pandemic these include 20,000 crore rupees in subordinate debt for MSMEs, an allocation of 3 lakh crore rupees towards collateral-free automatic loans for business, including MSMEs, and earmarking 50,000 crore rupees for equity infusion through MSME Fund of Funds. Budget 23-24 earmarked around 22,000 crore rupees for the MSME ministry, 41.6% higher than the previous year's allocation. Numerous MSMEs have benefited from these schemes. You need constant finance to support your business and I was failing everywhere and I started selling off my own personal things. I got the mudra loan from SME. That was a big support to me. 2020, COVID came in, I got a help from MSME. Then again in 2021, again they gave me as a financial assistance. But the fragile nature of the sector has not changed. Between the launch of the Udyam registration portal on the 1st of July 2020 and the 5th of February this year, 35,680 MSMEs have shut shop. Market expansion is another big challenge for MSMEs. And access to export markets is the challenge that needs attention. After all, only 35,000 of the 6.3 million MSMEs in India export their products. The way uh, this government has been working on all the four um, attributes, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's capacity building, whether it's creating open markets, whether it's also this entire habit of self-certification that we are getting into, um, ease of the taxation, ease of uh, the GST and all of that put together, the government is bound to come back. We're talking about an economy which is going to be primarily based on cross-border e-commerce where we are simply uh, very early starters. You have a huge number of um, micro and small uh, enterprises that have the capability and the capacity to create products that are exportable. We're missing the quality certification, the testing, and you know, so that you know, we are able to uh, work to international standards, A, B, um, get them access to markets. This will be crucial in advancing a sector that as of September 2023, employs over 12.36 crore people. In New Delhi, this is Shivani Bazaars.
All right, on that note, let's slip into a short breather on Business Lunch. But up next, we'll get you all the action from Anant Ambani and Radhika Merchant's mega pre-wedding celebrations straight from Jamnagar. Stay tuned.